Yeah, Zevi, coming from uh, Bryant, just talk about uh, Pullman and, um, you know, what it's been like here so far. Yeah, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. You know, something that uh, I've really enjoyed, you know, being here is just the, the community and the environment that gets built and established within the football team, you know. Um, obviously, Pullman, uh, similar to Bryant, it's more of a rural area. You know, there's not a lot of things going on outside, but I think that that builds a really good bond and chemistry within what we got here. Um, and I think that's important. You know, I think that helps build a strong team. It, it makes... It makes the football team be more than just football. It makes it feel like a family, you know? I've been here for two and a half, three months, and you know, I, I feel like I can call these guys brothers already. You know, so many of them have just welcomed me with open arms. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're not judgmental, uh, very charismatic. So it's been a really good experience so far being in Pullman. So uh, yeah, just, you know, only being here just a little bit, but who's a, who's a guy that you've developed a really good relationship with? Sure, um, two guys that, I've, that I hang out with a good amount um, is Tyson Durant, and uh, uh, Kyle Maxwell, um, you know, it started off, I, I'd give them rides a couple times. Tyson's got his car up here now. Um, but yeah, just really, you know, two transfers, two really, really, you know, nice dudes, genuine guys, um, you know, similar to me, they're coming from somewhere else and they're trying to make a name for themselves. They're trying to, you know, be accustomed and, and kind of mold themselves to the culture here and tradition here. And um, I just think they're really great dudes and I enjoy hanging around them. Obviously, you've been on campus for a couple months. What have you learned about the offense, about Arbuckle, uh, the whole uh, team in general, that maybe you didn't know before you took the practice field a couple weeks ago? Sure. I mean, the air raid is really fun. You know, uh, Coach Bug loves to throw the ball. Um, obviously, we have a great run game. Our line does a great job. Uh, the run obviously sets up the pass. But um, yeah, they've, they've taught me a lot of things, whether it's just verbiage on how you say certain things, um, whether it's certain schemes uh, that we're trying to accomplish or certain schemes that the defense is trying to accomplish. You know, um, I've been fortunate enough to be in this position where where I can utilize these coaches. You know, they have a lot of experience. You know, Coach Buck and Coach Coos, and you know, the list goes all the way down. Um, you know, they've seen a lot of football. You know, so just asking as many questions as I can, trying to learn the verbiage, the you know, the, the terminology um, to improve my game and help everybody else around me. What's been maybe the biggest challenge for you personally so far? Um, just getting accustomed to the offense and, and trying to establish things the way you know they want it to, to get done. Um, obviously, I, you know, I've played a good amount of football, but every you know school, every team that you go to, they're going to have their small things that they like to do. Um, you know, and I think it's important for me to get acclimated to how they like to do things here, and then kind of grow on that. You know, so just trying to make sure I I cover all the bases on what needs to be done, and then continue to grow as a player. I'm curious about your journey here. Uh, obviously, signed briefly with Jacksonville State, that yeah. didn't come to pass. Yeah. You end up even further away from that. Right. Uh, what made you want to come here and just the journey to get here? What was that all like? Yeah, no, it was, it was a pretty crazy story. So I'm from Los Angeles. I'm not too far from home. So Brian was actually really far from home for me. So I'm getting closer back to home now. Um, but yeah, you know, Coach Buck called me not, not too long before I was, uh, you know, going to Jacksonville State. I had my flight and everything set up. And, you know, he kind of got me on the phone and was like, you know, we got an open spot. Um, we're looking for a guy. It's an open competition. Do you want to be the guy? And um, I want to say it took me less than 24 hours to get back to him. I might have just slept over and, and you know, in the morning he kind of called and, you know, said, are you ready to do this? And, um, you know, I, I said to him, is it going to be an open spot? He said, it's an open spot. You know, I mean, just go in and compete, you know, do, do what you can, do your best. And I said, you know, I'm all for it. So it happened very abruptly. It happened very fast, but I trust my instinct um, and I'm really happy that I did because I'm really happy here. So you didn't actually like take a visit here before you no. ended up here? No, nope. no visit, nothing. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, except for the pure fact that I was coming to Washington State. Also, yeah. So what is it about like, like what is it that sold you on coming here without ever having you know made a visit? I think it's just the name. You know, I mean that the 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 reputation that this school has. You know, they've obviously produced a lot of great players. Uh, we have a couple players that are going to be in the draft this year. Um, you know, the the name speaks for itself. You know, it was an opportunity to put myself um, in a great position as an athlete. I feel like. You know, whether whether you're a high school athlete or, you know, a pop Warner, whatever it is, I think, you know, every kid's dream is to play P5 one day. Um, and I was given that opportunity and, um, you know, I was very fortunate of it and I, I couldn't pass that one up. What's, uh, you got a favorite place to go eat in Pullman yet? Um, I really like to go to my office wings, the wings there. They're really, really good. I've had the land too. Um, I went to La Casa Lopez in Moscow, a little bit of a drive but really, really good Mexican food. So I'm still figuring things out, trying to find new places. But yeah, my office wings, they got some really good wings.